Hello everyone, I'm Lata Shah and welcome to the latest episode of our show Business of Entertainment. Your weekly dose of the financial performance of what's buzzing in the world of entertainment at the movies, on TV and on streaming platforms around the world. Now around 4,000 or half of India's operational movie screens reopened last Friday as the first batch of new films hit theatres after a nearly four-month gap since April when the second Covid wave had hit the country. Some cinemas in states like Delhi, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Punjab started showing Hollywood film Mortal Kombat while five small Telugu films found showcasing in their native states. As of now, Telangana remains the only state in the country to allow 100% seating capacity in theatres. Further good news comes from Maharashtra, which has granted reopening permits in certain districts, including Mumbai and Thani. Warner Brothers, producers of Mortal Kombat, have also slated a number of titles in the coming weeks to keep the momentum going. Their action adventure, The Suicide Squad, will arrive on 5th August, becoming the first Hollywood film since the pandemic to come to Indian theatres the same day as its international release. Horror flick The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It will arrive on the 13th, action flick Fast and Furious 9 on the 19th, and animation comedy The Boss Baby, Family Business on 10th September. Other Hollywood titles such as Promising Young Woman, which comes on 6th August, Old on 13th August, The Crudes, A New Age on 27th August, Nobody also on 27th August, and The Forever Purge on 17th September have also locked dates. As far as local films go, Akshay Kumar's Bell Bottom will arrive in theatres on 19th August, while Punjabi film Puada has confirmed the release on 12th August. As far as new web offerings go this week, Kriti Sanan star Mimi arrived on Netflix screen slightly in advance thanks to a piracy leak. Now Bollywood's tryst with surrogacy has been both long and fruitful, but Mimi unfortunately adds nothing to the legacy. Director Lakshman Rotekar's film is both unfunny as far as Hindi films trying to capture small town idiosyncrasies go and problematic in its take on couples who venture into surrogacy. That Sanan looks too urban for her part doesn't help. In fact, even Pankaj Tripathi can't salvage this one. That's all we have as far as entertainment goes this week. We will be back next week with more news and context on all that's fun and entertaining in hopefully better times. Till then, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, this video is also available as a podcast on various platforms.